Good day and welcome to this Benito 311 Clipper Giopovini. Uh, Giopovini is a 1999 uh, 311, Benito 311. She's got six berths with two double cabins and two uh, in the saloon. Uh, just a little bit of history about the 311. She uh, was basically designed after the first, the successful racing first 31.7. Um, although the 31.7 had an L profiled keel uh, with a 1.9 meter draft um, also the first had a taller uh, mast um, um, but uh, had a tiller whereas the 311 has a wheel as you can see uh, for room around the cockpit uh, the headroom on this boat is a fraction under six foot uh, but the most important thing is she's got a as well as being a good cruiser she's what everyone wants a fast hull as well because she has racing pedigree which is nice to know on a, a family cruiser and um, that she will have a decent turn of speed she's got 50 square meters of sail area and she has a displacement of 3.5 tons there were a thousand and forty two of these boats built um, and uh, so you can tell she was a very popular boat in her time um, and I think you'll be able to see why when I take you on this walkthrough why she was so successful very well placed this boat is a, a lifting keel and here I am in Pool Harbour so a perfect place for a lifting keel um, because we have the, the, uh, the, the low draft that comes with a lifting keel. I'll show you, show you more about that when I go inside. Uh, what's great about it is that she has a wing plate at the bottom of the keel uh, which keeps the boat upright when beaching. So very, very useful features on this boat. Um, and the lift keel, as you'd expect, was very popular. Uh, the boat was built between 1997 and 2003 and this boat, this particular Giopovini, was built in 1999. Her draft with um, the keel down is 2 metres, but with the keel up is 0.8 metres. Um, she has a 70-litre uh, fuel tank, which is more than ample, and at a fridge, an icebox capacity of 60 litres, um, and a Yanmar 18-horsepower engine. Let me take you now downstairs and um, through the boat, and we'll point out, point out items are relevant. So as we go down into the saloon, down some nice low sloping steps, uh, we go into the saloon. We have the galley here with a nice two burner hob and an oven. We have a fridge unit, fridge and freezer unit small ice box in there we have uh, the sink we have cutlery drawers here and a waste bin down here so at the moment we've got the saloon with the table leaf down so that you've got a walkway through to uh, the forepeak uh, but that also the leaf moves up to make a full table like that you can see in the middle, we've got middle of the table, we've got the lifting keel um, winch mechanism, and that's 100 fully down and 100 fully back up again. Um, the fore cabin, I'll take you through there first of all. Uh, nice positive lock there on the fore cabin, and inside there, a nice V berth, plenty of light and uh, storage facilities here on the left. Coming back now into the saloon, we move round and we can see the nav table on the starboard here um, and that is a nice thing to have. Most modern boats don't have the nav table now and I can't see why but uh, there's the electrics op operation above and there's storage on, in the chart table, uh, should you so require. Moving uh, to the heads, go into the head unit, 
and you can see a very nice head unit there um, with a shower and further round we have a the loo or the head um, and yes just a very practical head unit closing the door um, I won't show you the uh, engine because there the engine pictures are on the website so you'll see that I've just got to lift two clips which I can't do with one hand holding the camera um, the aft cabin is as you expect an aft cabin plenty of space down here um, and for a, a double berth two people in here um, and nice and dairy as well with an an opening an opening hatch just here so plenty of air for the uh, guests staying in the aft cabin and again plenty of storage facilities here on the right so this is the saloon just just to re uh, recap you get a filler in for the uh, saloon and you get a double bed here in the saloon as well right let's go out on deck and into the cockpit and show you around there so here we are in the cockpit and uh, of course we have the lovely central wheel um, but uh, just on the binnacle we've got a plotter a Lawrence plotter uh, and the autopilot and just forward of that is the uh, compass we've also got down here the uh, B&G marine um, depth and speed indicator and uh, Windex below it and another compass up there um, here we've got the, the winches so we've got four four winches on this boat all self tailing one two three and the fourth there on the starboard um, right let's go ahead uh, forward and see what we've got down there as we walk down the starboard side uh, you'll see that we've got a um, the life raft here he's even got he's built a cradle for it so it doesn't get in the way of um, of the jib um, or in anyone else's way so a nice place for a, a nice safe place for a, a, a life raft to be um, moving forward we go to move to the furler it's all looking good there and if you if we go now into the forward locker uh, we can see the windlass uh, controllable with buttons up and down and a decent size anchor there and I think we've got 60 meters of chain if I'm not mistaken but do check on that um, on, in, um, on the website uh, for veracity um, so here we are looking back at the boat um, and uh, very nice and good condition Beneteau 311 well looked after and uh, in, in very good nick. I'll just walk you back now down the uh, port side um, and back to the cockpit. At the, uh, at the aft we've got a nice bathing platform with ladder um, so also very useful for those day sailing days when you want to launch out that basically completes the tour of this Beneteau 311 clipper uh, if there is any questions uh, or you'd like to talk further about this boat or to book up a viewing a physical viewing do give me a call uh, she's down here in pool so I'm happy to 
meet you down here in Poole on the swing mooring. Thank you very much indeed.